A Canadian group is trying to bring together politics and the environment in a new way. They're introducing a concept popular in the United States to help finance campaigns that put the environment in the spotlight. Margot McDermott looks at the Green Pack. It's not often you see a celebration about the environment these days. But at this year's Green Living Show, amongst the electric cars and organic carrots, the launch of a new way to support political candidates for the federal election. Climate change, endangered species, toxic chemicals in our environment, none of those problems get solved without government leadership. It's called Green Pack a political action committee dedicated to selecting environmental candidates from the political parties. It's hoping to match those candidates with donors who will support campaigns directly. Green Pack is trying to take the broad support that exists across the country for environmental issues and focus it on a few leaders that we can get elected to make a difference. Thousands of people come to this green living show every year. It's the largest in North America. But research shows that less than 10% of Canadians put environment first when they cast their ballots. Political action committees are common in the U.S. They're used to funnel support to single-issue causes like women candidates or to pay for partisan attack ads. We need to make a change. They're less common in Canada because of strict rules on political donations. Green Pack promises to be nonpartisan to pick candidates from all the parties. Some are skeptical that will happen. I will be very uh, interested to, to see if, um, if they find some uh, conservative members that, uh, that they can endorse. Green Pack is made up of scientists, academics, and business people. Now, companies like IKEA are showing interest too. Based on the level of interest that we see in the growing consciousness and awareness uh, of these sorts of issues, I think that Canadians will respond well to it. It's got to be a lot. But pollster more Bruce Anderson says it may take time to catch on. It's too early to tell whether this one will work. It's probably not too early to say that there'll be more like this in the months and years ahead. Green Pack is hoping to attract 10,000 supporters in the next few months to be ready for what many are predicting could be an election where the environment has a much bigger profile. Margaret McDermott, CBC News, Toronto.